Certainly many of you may recall the Game Boy Micro console. Without a doubt, it was a compact version of the legendary Game Boy Advance. Surprise! It even had a backlit screen, just like the ESP. Today, I will be unboxing this iconic console, which undeniably revolutionized the gaming industry. I recently purchased it from Neva's website, where you can find a wide range of retro consoles, games, and accessories that people no longer use. Furthermore, you can also sell your own items on the platform. In fact, I have been getting rid of some valuable belongings lying around the house in exchange for this gem. It's incredible how new meets old, isn't it? Neva even offers digital games, prepaid cards, and online subscriptions for various consoles, including the Nintendo Switch. You can download the Neva app now and start saving money on all your gaming needs. They have an extensive collection of digital games covering platforms like Steam, PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo Switch, and even physical formats in Spain. Check out the link in the description below for Neva. Now let's focus on the unboxing. Can we compare this console to the current Nintendo Switch Lite? Well, we're talking about something truly micro-sized here. Will there ever be a Nintendo Switch version as compact as this one? Honestly, it seems highly unlikely, but a gamer can dream, right? I would absolutely love to have a console so tiny it could easily fit in my pocket, even if it's just for playing retro games. Anyway, let's move on to the unboxing, shall we? Firstly, let's assess the box. So far, it looks pretty decent, at least from the outside. Now let's hope the inside lives up to the same standard. Okay, let's proceed with opening it up. Yeah. Speaking of which, maybe we could relish this console alongside the Nintendo Switch Lite. However, let's remember that we're dealing with a micro edition here. Ergo, incredibly small. Will we ever see a Nintendo Switch version this size? Well, I highly doubt it, but a gamer can dream, can't they? I just wish for a console so conveniently compact that it could effortlessly fit into my pocket, even if it's solely for indulging in retro games. Now let's get to work. Let's open this baby up. The packaging inside doesn't seem to be too impressive either, if I'm honest. It appears we have the manuals, which thankfully don't seem to be in pristine condition. They're available in various languages, including Spanish. That's fine. It's not bad, considering it wasn't sold to me as something brand new. Additionally, there's some promotional material from the micro era, showcasing the variety of colors that were available. It's accompanied by some fantastic games to enjoy on this console, such as Dynasty Warriors, Mario Power Tennis, Donkey Kong Country 3, Dr. Mario, and Fire Emblem. These were all fantastic fantastic games back in the day. And finally, we have the console itself. Have a look at this, folks. It's incredibly small when you compare it to other consoles. It's genuinely impressive. This reformulation has 35 and 46 characters, which is one character, 0.03% over the requested amount. I would really like this for my Nintendo Switch. I specifically want a small and compact one just like this. Take a look, it fits perfectly in the palm of my hand. It's truly amazing and it is very well taken care of. By the way, let me mention that it comes with a charging cable. Not only that, but it also has a headphone jack, which is pretty cool because the Game Boy Advance SP didn't have one. The triggers on this console work really well, which is another positive aspect. With just a few buttons, including the crosshairs and the start and select buttons, it keeps things simple but functional. You can tell that it has been well maintained, which I appreciate. It did cost me quite a bit of money, but considering the condition, I've seen more expensive items that were in worse shape. Along with the charging cable, there is also a compartment to hold Game Boy Advance or Game Boy games. Now let's go ahead and turn it on to see if it's working and how much battery it's got. Just be careful. Oh, and I forgot to mention that it looks like there is an HDMI input, but thankfully it doesn't take up too much space, which is a relief. Truthfully, I have no clue on the average battery life of this console when fully charged. It's a bit of an unknown factor. The super backlit screen is truly impressive, isn't it? Just look at it, how cool it is. And even cooler, the start and select buttons also light up. So, what do you think? I'm absolutely loving it, that's for sure. I absolutely adore it. It has an incredibly retro and compact design, and you know what? It's highly portable, perfect for bringing it along when traveling, right? Effortlessly. It holds great value and fits snugly in my pocket. Pay attention now. The all-new Facecam MK2 has just been released. This Facecam is designed to function as a webcam, allowing you to showcase your live performances or create videos directly on your computer. Isn't that impressive? With a focus specifically calculated for your face, it can be conveniently placed on top of the screen. I've already set up the webcam, and as you can see, the image quality is excellent. Take a closer look. It's superb. How about that, huh? We can even zoom in and out with ease. The MK2 comes to upgrade your entire setup, so take advantage of it. Take advantage of it? Let's see, my friend, I'm wearing the tracksuit, but look at how well, how well this fits in the pants. Look how good it is, huh? Wow, I'm surely gonna take it with me on a trip, huh? Of course, of course, how beautiful, huh? Nintendo, make me something like this for Nintendo Switch, please, I need it, how compact this is, guys. Although if it's for playing indie games or Nintendo Switch online games and that's it, it would be brutal. And since it looks like it's already loaded, let's throw in a Game Boy Advance game. A Pokemon, right? Let's go, I don't have any more, I'm gonna buy more games now, right with this. I'm going to buy some more games, I think you recommend some games for this console. Maybe a turn-based strategy game, maybe a Fire Emblem, or a... Man, an Advance Wars. 
It wouldn't be bad either, but I already have it for the Switch. I've got some Game Boy Advance games here. We'll try those here. I know I tried them last time with the Game Boy Advance SP, but hey, I don't have any more. I'll buy some more at some retro fair, which by the way, there's a retro fair in Barcelona soon. And maybe I'll get some games because this guy's is that I really like it, huh? And also backlit screen. Okay, I correct one thing I said before, it's only compatible with Game Boy Advance games, not Game Boy or Game Boy Color. The screen, as you can see, is super sharp and bright with a resolution of 240 by 160 pixels, exactly the same as the Game Boy Advance SP, but in a smaller format. The LCD screen offers super clear images and much more vivid colors, which significantly improves the gaming experience compared to the Game Boy Advance SP. It is true that it was a little late in the life of the Game Boy Advance being released in 2005, two years or so after the Game Boy Advance SP, and so late it came that at that time the Nintendo DS had already been launched. A totally different console to this Game Boy Advance. The Game Boy Micro sold very little, so it is quite hard to get. The price that had this console at its launch was $99. Careful, about 100 Eurillos. It was time to try some games, for example, Pokemon Ruby, right? Yes, I'm playing the same game, folks. I just put it in. You have to restart the console. That's right. Let's see. Let's reboot completely. There it is. Wow, it's just that, man. It's because it's so compact. The screen, which is the same as the Game Boy Advance, it looks, it even looks better, you know? It doesn't seem to start the game. Watch out. Over here I have an accessory that I always use to blow out the cartridges or the dust that's in the grids of the consoles, which is this pot called... They don't pay me or anything, huh? That's why I always use it. I bought a lot of them on Amazon, a whole pack, and it works like a charm. It is particularly good for electronic components. I'll blow a little over here. All the dust out. And also the one in the game, just in case it got dust on it at some point. If possible, do not do it with your mouth because you will release saliva and this can damage the electrical components of the cartridge. We start. Let's see, please. Let this work. Hey, finally it's working. After blowing on it, it's actually functioning properly. Look at that. Pokemon on the screen. Isn't that great? Now let's get started and play. This handheld console is so sleek and the color is amazing. It's a really impressive piece of technology. Uh, we would love to have a copy version of the Nintendo Switch, even if it's only for collectors. I would be so excited to own one, you know. Uh, I'm curious to see how the gaming experience is with this smaller screen. It might be a bit challenging to read the text though, since it's so tiny. For instance, let's see. Unfortunately, I can't read well right now as I've just run out of battery, my friends. I need to find a way to charge it up. So nothing. If you'll allow me, I'll plug it in right now and we'll continue shortly, okay? While I'm waiting for it to charge, everybody give this video a big like if you like Nintendo and let me know in the comments what you think should be the next console I should buy. I think it will be the Nintendo DS. I did the DSi and also the DS Lite. Well, I remember it's the same. The DS, I don't own the DS, nor did I have it when I was a kid. Now, if finding that console that isn't smashed is gonna be hard, huh? Even though it offered me a lot of entertainment for some time, do not hesitate to subscribe and activate the notification bell. Meanwhile, you can choose to follow me exclusively on one of my three channels, such as Telegram, WhatsApp, or even Instagram. This exclusive offer is only for the members of the Bacon Crew. Go below and find out about the best deals. Super secret. Which one did you guys like better? The Game Boy Advance SP or the Micro? The Micro is way cooler, I think, huh? But then again, it's bigger this one too. And you'll see the gameplay better, but hey, it's pretty cool too, huh? Here we go, let's bring out Pokemon Ruby. Although you haven't seen much gameplay either, have you? But anyway, I wanna play Golden Sun a little bit, come on, and heads up because we're gonna turn it on. Let's see. There it is, Game Boy. And tell me it's turned on, please, the game. There it is, it looks like it is. Wow. Oh, look at you! We have here the spectacular intro to this game. Well, I finally started a new game of Golden Sun. Hey, the sound is really good, huh? No kidding, huh? Can you hear it or not? It is spectacular. But where does the sound come from, guys? Isn't it a loudspeaker? Well, hey, I'm very happy with this purchase, huh? No doubt. It's just so small. It's super portable. Do this to Nintendo Color Switch for me, please. I'm sorry to be so insistent, but it's true. There it is. Here we start the game. And watch out because things happen, huh? Check it out. I think I should play first. One, right? Because this one goes first in principle. And then it goes to the next one, which I haven't done. 
But anyway, I think they put Golden Sun on Switch Online now, right? Or they were going to put it, I don't remember. This is a way to play classic Game Boy Advance games in a super portable way. I'm going to turn the volume down a bit. It's a little loud in here, it seems, huh? I'm going to keep playing this game, but I'll take a look at an to see if I can find any more interesting ones that I can play on a trip. I have no idea how long this battery should last, by the way, eh? What will it last? A few hours, I guess, right? Or quite a bit more? Depends, doesn't it? If I'm going full solid, maybe it lasts less? obviously. And another thing that this had is that you can swap the housings and what can you take something out of it, right? It can be screwed on. Let's see. This cover is removable. See, this is a screw right here that's easy to take off. Ah, no. Okay, 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 okay. This is the battery that's removable. Hey, cool, huh? That's removable. Because yeah, if it goes bad, we can replace it. And easily, huh? It would be nice if the consoles now also got to change the batteries. Let's fix this again. And just in case I check that it works, okay? It does indeed work. Hey guys, so thrilled with this Game Boy Micro. Spectacular, which I've never had in my hands before. It arrived very late already. So I stopped by and I said, I'll wait for the, the new one, right? Ah, well, the speakers are here in front. I haven't seen them, but they're here, right? Well, hey friends. So I've been thinking about getting the Nintendo DS as my next console. I'm hoping to find one still in the box and everything. And where would I buy it from? Well, EVA, of course. So that's it, my friends. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you're a Nintendo fan, give me a strong like if you love their portable consoles. And if you want to see more from me, don't forget to subscribe. To be aware of what I will bring you next, you have unboxings of my channel of all kinds. Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Advance SP, the GameCube, the PSX, the Wii, the Wii U. All this in this series of retro consoles that we have on Ray Baker's channel. So subscribe right here, click it, and another click to be subscribed. And keep seeing what retro Nintendo stuff we have here on the channel. Under here for this playlist. Playlist. Uh, playlist. Ray, we're leaving now. Okay? Drink water and be happy.